will speak on how does one reduces the risk of passing on diabetes to next generation. So as we know, genetics is one risk factor causing diabetes. But lifestyle plays a major role in people suffering from diabetes. Making lifestyle choices help people to reduce their risk of diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes. The lifestyle modification required in such case are maintaining a healthy body weight, being physically active, and eating healthy balanced meat. Today I'll be talking about what is diabetic emergency. As we know insulin being the major treatment of choice for diabetes, the incident of too much or too little insulin is a common phenomena. Life-threatening occurrence occurs. Too much insulin causes low blood glucose, hypoglycemia, which can lead to insulin shock. Insufficient insulin causes blood glucose to come too high, hyperglycemia, which can cause a diabetic coma. Reviewing signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia versus hyperglycemia helps remove the challenge of determining if a person's blood sugar is too low or too high. Today I'll be talking about care to be taken after birth with gestational diabetes. Like after giving birth to baby, blood glucose level should be tested regularly. Medical follow up for all women who have had gestational diabetes is very important. In 2-3% to of women, diabetes continues even after delivery. Gestational diabetes is an early sign that you can use to your advantage. You can now have a chance to make the lifestyle changes to help reduce that risk for long term. Try to reach and maintain a healthy weight. Eat well and exercise regularly. Today I will be talking about daily routine for managing diabetes effectively. For that we need to eat a balanced meal such as fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains and a low fat containing food. Eat the right portions of healthy food. Eat food that have less salt and fat content. Get at least 30 minutes of activity exercise on most days of the week. Replace refined carbohydrates with whole grain food and increase intake of vegetables and other foods high in diabetes dietary fibers. Choose calorie free liquids such as unsweetening tea, coffee or water. Choose sugar substitute. Consult a dietitian for an individualized dietary plan. Today I will be talking about living healthy with diabetes. What do I mean by living healthy with diabetes? See adopting a healthy lifestyle can help prevent or delay the onset of diabetes and is crucial to managing the diabetes. It's also imperative to normalize the critical health numbers such as weight, blood sugar, blood pressure and blood cholesterol. Maintain a proper eating and exercise schedule. Take your medicines for diabetes and any other health problems even when you feel good. Check your feet every day for cuts, blisters and red spots, swellings. Consult a doctor if there's any signs of sore that do not go away. 